Hello everyone, this is Totally Random back here with another video. So, um, I decided I would just check out the reviews from audiences, like just read them, the audience reviews on Rotten Tomatoes for Star Wars The Last Jedi. And so, we will read these reviews. So, here's the first one by John P. They should have listened to George Lucas. Right by Sean D. It generally angers me how many people have been paid off or expect favor from reviewing this film favorably. The Last Jedi was an abomination. This 91% certified fresh rating is fake. Do not see this film. Do not purchase fan merchandise. Do not support this marketing ploy and abuse of our love of the legacy. The raped indie all over again and far worse. It is difficult to put into words how disappointing this film was. I do not consider it a canon. Disney's Marvel Guardians of a Star Wars Galaxy didn't feel like a finished, let alone thought-out film, even by today's standards. No life, no soul, very little heart. Just mostly pondering and forced agenda-based corporate filmmaking at its finest. I'll bite. It's worst. Maybe just give the property back to Lucas, or better yet, just let it die. Very disappointing. They have treated the Star Wars mythology and lore with utter contempt in this diabolical, disjointed movie, which gives true Star Wars fans the burden while it's trying to force feed viewers with the political agenda. I totally agree with that. It's just a bunch of liberalism stuff down your throat and the SJW with the social justice warrior stuff and all that. Plot is flawed on many levels and defies credulity. Male characters are treated like goons. Jedi lore and belief system is treated like ass paper. <laughs> wow. Carefully woven themes and plots from the previous movie are unceremoniously dumped in this one. Boy, someone helped me unwatch it. Worst episode in the saga, the movie managed to completely destroy what the original trilogy established, both the characters and the story. No character development for the new characters introduced in The Force Awakens, and the plot holes are as numerous as the sand on Tatooine. Oh well. Literally ruining the Star Wars name. Star Wars Avengers. Not really any need to say more. Rest in peace, my longtime favorite saga. Terrible story, terrible rant, acting, just terrible. Plot holes everywhere. You have to be brain dead to like this movie. This movie is a disaster of storytelling. It is true. Is it? It isn't true to the original characters' identities as we've been shown. Johnson goes out of his way to subvert audience expectations at the expense of the plot. It looks beautiful. It's shot wonderfully, and it sounds great. But this film, like so many others, fails to remember that these features should play second string to well-developed characters' arcs and storytelling. When you have a good story, even a film with a low budget, like the original Star Wars trilogy, sticks in our hearts and minds for decades. Last Jedi failed to do this in every way. I'm sorry about the, um, the dryer or washing machine in the background. I'm sorry about that. I'm not sure what I watched. The dialogue is awful. The characters seem odd. And the plot, meandering. This is not Empire Strikes Back. Not remotely close to last year's Rogue's one. More like Attack of the Clones. Not even sure why the critics' reviews are so good. I thought this was mediocre. I've heard these guys are stupid. Who gave it four or five stars? Wow. Ryan W. What a travesty. Even outside the Star Wars universe, this movie is just bad, bad, bad. Star Wars is dead for me. I'm another, I'm another person who signed up just to voice my utter disappointment in this film. I'm still in shock that I've walked out from an expensive trip to the cinema feeling as if I wasted three hours of my life. Luke's character is shameful. I can understand the franchise's desire to address things such as the terrorism parallels and the folly of the Jedi, but they did not need to make it such a depressing, unrelenting death fest. The relationships through the whole film were just muddy and nothing resolved. I'm all for feminism and enjoy watching strong female leads, but does this mean we are not allowed to allow any character development or relationships? We go to the cinema to escape reality, and there was just a reassuring beauty in the older films of the good, Perceivable, but this one was just like the spending three hours trapped inside the head of a delusion and depressed. No, I can't really agree with what she said there. The writer obviously has no clue what Star Wars is about. I totally agree with that. If you need to kill an hour with the kids, just take them bowling, not to see this garbage. Weak storytelling, just an all around lazy movie. Do not see this in theater, wait till it's on TBS and you have a sick day. Create a rotten to me. I can't, okay. <laughs> 
because you can see people are really trashing this movie, and I totally agree with them. Um, so I just wanted to read over that. <laughs> That's all I have for now. So um, please like and subscribe and comment below. Um, with comment below with anything you think you hated about the movie. Um, and uh, please subscribe, as I said, and uh, please share this video too. And I will get to you with some more videos soon. So peace out.